Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to my channel. In this quick and awesome video, I'm going to teach you how you can screen mirror your Samsung phone, any Samsung phone by the way, to your Roku Express TV. By the way, if you don't have Roku Express TV or have an Android or TCL TV, I'll be linking that video in the description box below or into the cards, okay? So be sure to check that out. Now, this is completely free, no third-party apps, and it's really smooth. So let's just dive right into it. All right, so a couple of things before we start, we have to use the Wi-Fi. Now, if you don't have ho if you don't have home Wi-Fi, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you another way, but I would recommend you use your home Wi-Fi. I mean, it's free, it's homey, you, you don't have to worry about data. It's like it's it's home Wi-Fi, right? <laughs> but yeah, I would recommend you use your home Wi-Fi. So go to the settings, go to connection settings on your Samsung phone and head over to your Wi-Fi settings. Now, here you have two options. Into the connections, you can either use I can I, either you can go with the Wi-Fi that you have available at your home, which is free. You don't have to worry about how much data you use. It's it's awesome, right? So or or if you let's just say if you don't have home Wi-Fi, you can always always use your personal uh, hotspot from your phone or any other phone that is available to you. I'm going to show you both ways, so don't worry about that. Just turn off the Wi-Fi, go back into the connection settings, and head over to your mobile hotspot settings. Now inside the hot inside the hotspot settings, just be careful. This might cost you credit, and depending on what data plan you have, and depending what country are you in this will cost you credit okay so just be careful with the mobile hotspot if you don't have another choice i would recommend you uh use wi-fi but then again if you don't have home wi-fi you could always use your mobile data as you can see my mobile data is turned on but just for the sake of this video i'm gonna be using my home wi-fi I'm, I'm gonna show you both ways both literally works the same it's just the hot hotspot might cost you credit so just just be careful with the uh, mobile data okay all right, so once your once your Samsung phone is connected to the Wi-Fi, now we have to do the exact same thing on your Roku Express TV. Now, in this case, this is my Samsung Roku Express TV, which I know doesn't make any sense, by the way, but you can actually get a Roku Express dongle. Links will be in the description box below. All right, so head over to your network settings on your Roku Express and make sure your Roku Express TV is connected to that exact same Wi-Fi. Here you have two options. As I said before, if you're using the home Wi-Fi, make sure your Roku Express is connected to that home Wi-Fi. As you can see right there, that is my home Wi-Fi. But if you don't have home Wi-Fi and your phone is not connected to your home Wi-Fi, you can always use your, use your hotspot from your phone. Just make sure that your phone and your uh, and your TV are both on the same network, okay? That is really, really, really important, okay? Now, once that's done, that's pretty much all we need to do on the TV. Now, let's get back to the phone and let's do this. All right. So as I said before, you don't have to worry about what Samsung phone you're using. In this case, I am using S21 Ultra, but it doesn't matter. Now head over to your control center until you see Smart View. By the way, if you if you cannot find the Smart View, don't worry about it. If you go into the control center, there's an option. You can add more options into it. Now I have done this before, so I cannot find the Smart View again. But if you don't have Smart View into the control center, you can actually add the Smart View from the available buttons in your control center. It just is a, a little nice hack that I have learned in the past. So Samsung might might not have Smart View into the control centers. So just be careful, okay? All right. So head over to the Smart View, and it will automatically search for your Roku Express as you can see just click on it click the start mirroring and that's pretty much it give it a couple of seconds and as you can see in the background it will ask you for permissions on your remote control just click on accept and that's pretty much it bam we are actually connected now <laughs> pretty easy right now you have tons of options you can you can watch TikTok, you can watch youtube you can listen to music from spotify if you want to you can even use instagram watch videos on instagram you can you can do basically a lot you can even study if you want to i do get asked that a lot so <laughs> yeah you can actually study if you have lectures or something like that but yeah be sure to follow me on instagram and if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you, okay? And I'm Riz. And again, if you have any questions, by the way, uh, be sure to join the channel. Links will be in the description box below. If you like the video, leave a like. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. And if this, if you find this video helpful, be sure to subscribe, okay? I would extremely appreciate it. But then again, it's pretty awesome, right? Well, this is it. Also, I'm going to show you how to stop it. I almost forgot, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's really simple to stop as well. As you can see, it's really smooth. So head over to your smart view settings and just click on disable. And that's pretty much it. That's that's it. That's all you have to do. I'll see you.